Everybody, this is Vivian, and today is Tuesday. Tuesday, <laughs> as some people can say. But anyway, uh, so we're still reviewing this book, A Year of Positive Thinking, Daily Inspiration, Courage and Wisdom by Cindy Spiegel. Now, last night we talked about an exercise in movement and happiness. Because movement can make you happy. <laughs> you just get up and dance. Because I know when I dance, you cannot be sad when you're dancing. It's just it's just virtually impossible to be sad when you're dancing. Most people, when they dance, they smile. Sadness, smiling, can't live in the same space. So, smile. And dance. <laughs> All right. So tonight we're talking about trying. Trying is not perfection. Let's read that and then we'll get into it. All right. Try new things and be willing to fail. Don't worry about the end result. Just put in the effort. Let go of expectation. Whatever happens is happening as it should. Challenge your own beliefs. Do the things that feels difficult. The only way you'll arrive at the magic is if you willingly travel a few challenging roads to get there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's short, but I'm going to talk about it. I do that. I do that sort of thing. You know, I talk about it and I make it extra long. <laughs> but, you know, hey, that's, that's just what I do. You know me by now, right? All right. So let's talk about trying and perfection. What is perfection? Now, it's certainly not trying because trying can be the most imperfect thing you could possibly do. Now, my grandmother used to say, there's nothing to a failure but a try. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I used to wonder, what the heck does that even mean? Because she used to say it a lot, right? But I found out because I was, I was a curious kid. And I asked her, because I never really understood what she meant. Now, she, she was saying that I was just nosy and I was messing in grown folks' business, but <laughs> but you're saying it to me, so I need to know what it means. If you're going to keep saying it, I need to know what it means. So she explained that you only fail if you don't try, right? And trying is not always going to be perfect. Trying can look like falling down. Trying can look like failure. Try if you choose to look at it that way. You know, trying is not doing, it is attempting. So you can try, but you're not doing it yet, but you're attempting it, right? So question, is that a good or a bad thing? Depends on how you look at it, right? So think about this. If you fall down and you never try to get back up, what's going to happen? You're going to stay down. <laughs> if you fall down and, you know, there are some obstacles in your way, but you're steady trying to push them out of the way. And eventually, though, if you keep trying to push them out of the way, you are going to succeed. Because you're still trying. If you just lay back and say, you know what, there's obstacles. I'm not going to do anything. That's not trying. Definitely not doing, right? So think about this too. Some so folks say, um, when you say you'll try, what you really mean is that, no, I'm not going to do it. 
And in some instances, that's true. So for example, um, if you're into affiliate or network marketing like myself, and you're taking, you're, 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 you're talking to a prospect and you want to sell a product or introduce them to your opportunity, and they say, well, um, I'll try, then most likely that is not your prospect. That is not the person that is actually going to buy your product or look at your opportunity because the I'll try in that situation is typically somebody who is trying to get rid of you. <laughs> when you say, can you come and can you uh, go to my meeting and you hear more about my business? Oh, I'll try. That means get out of my face. I'm not, I'm not going to do it most of the time. Sometimes they actually will try, but they don't want to, and they don't want to hurt your feelings, right? So usually that's what happens. And I'm not going to interpret that for everybody, but typically that's what happens in, the, in that situation. On the other hand, if you're doing something that you have never done before and you say you'll try, now this can be seen in a positive light, right? Because you have no idea what you're doing, but you're going to try to do it anyway. That is a positive thing. Now, it's I think it's all in how it's said. All in how it's said and on what the circumstances are. You know, I'll try when you're asking somebody to do something and they don't really look like they're going to do it. That's probably a, a no. A no but I don't want to hurt your feelings type of no. <laughs> but if you are, or anybody actually, it's trying to do something that you've never done, that that um, you know is going to be hard, but you're going to try to do it anyway, then just try to do it. And you may fail. That's the thing about trying. You may fail. You may fall down. You may make mistakes, but you still are trying that's a good thing. That's what they mean by trying is not perfection. You trying is trying to do something, but I mean, and push past all the limitations that you see around you to still try to do it. Whether you succeed or fail is irrelevant at that point. You are trying. And if you never try, you're never going to succeed. So trying is not perfect. You know, it's not a perfect thing. You, you, can, you can try and not succeed, and you can try and succeed. But if you never try, you're never going to succeed. And I used to tell, I used to tell my kids um, that when, when they were little, and they would say, well, mommy, I don't like that. So, well, how do you know? Oh, I, I don't know, but I, I know I don't like that. Well, how do you know? And he said, well, I don't know. I said, okay, so here's the deal. Never tell me you don't like something until you try it. Try something new. Try something different, right? And so a lot of times when you say you don't like something and you've never tried it, how do you know? It may become your absolute favorite thing. So that that's also falls back on that, you know, speaking negativity into your life. When you're saying that you don't, oh, I don't like it. I hate that kind of thing. How do you know? Have you actually ever tried it? Do you actually know whether or not you'd be good or bad at it? If you've never tried it, you don't know. You will never know. And so... Here's something, here's something that I posted. I think, I, yeah, I posted it on Facebook this morning. And I want you to ponder it. So we're going to do TRY as an acronym. So TRY, the T means time to, the R means reinvent, and the Y means yourself. So TRY means time to reinvent yourself. Cool, right? Okay, so... What that means is try something new, try something different, try something adventurous, you know, because I'm always saying, um, you know, I saw that, uh, one of my Facebook friends was, went skydiving. 
<laughs> yeah, that face. And I went, um, I typically like to be inside the plane. I don't really want to jump out of a perfectly good plane and run the risk of falling flat on my face 30,000 feet into the air. So no, <laughs> I'm not trying that. But I mean, if it scares you to the point where, you know, you're actually terrified and shaking and all that, sometimes it might be a good thing to try it because it, it helps you to push past your limits. Um, and I'm not sure I'm going to do that. You know, the plane, jumping out of the plane, because, mm, no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. But, you know, I was thinking the other day, I said, well, since I've walked 13 miles, I might actually try to climb a mountain. Now, I don't think it's going to be like a mountain mountain, maybe like a sort of a hill mountain, because <laughs> Florida actually has no mountains unless, you know, unless somebody made it, uh, but you know, my, well, where I come from in Alabama, they have uh, what we call mountains. You know, we have the, you know, the Mount Iron Mountain. And if you climb up the mountain, you can go up the mountain. So there's, there's really hills. I mean, really steep hills, but they're hills. Because my brother who lives in Korea said, <laughs> he came home and said, that's not a mountain. <laughs> We have mountains in Korea, but that's not a mountain. We thought it was a mountain when we were growing up because it's high and, you know, you have to climb it and, and all that. But, you know, we've, we've seen, we've been in different countries and all this kind of stuff where we've actually seen mountains now. So they're hills. <laughs> but, you know, hill climbing. Let me, let's, let's look at it that way. I never was a hill climber. So that's something new and different. So try something new and different. That type of trying puts you in a, in a mood of trying all kinds of different things, trying things that are hard, trying things that may look like you might fail, but that gives you a thick skin. That gives you that uh, oomph to keep going on, right? So try something new and different. It will fortify you. It will help you to try other things. You know, if you're not doing well in your business and you want to try a different route, then try that. It's, it's okay. If you fail, so what? You know, did it kill you? No, it's not going to kill you. You just try it. If it doesn't work, then try something else. But try. And it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's all I have to say about that. But you know, I always end these things in gratitude. So guess what I'm going to say? I am very thankful for my children and my grandchildren. I am thankful for life, health, and strength. I am thankful for my mentors who inspire me every day. I am thankful for the conversation that I had today with one of my, my friends. And it was very... Um, I felt very close to her and, and it was just a really nice conversation. I'm thankful that money comes to me easily and effortlessly through multiple sources in increasing quantities on a continuous basis. I am thankful that my business is growing by leaps and bounds. I am thankful for my online family and my blood family. I am thankful that I have the opportunity to contribute to feeding hungry children around the world. I am thankful that my dreams are coming true. And last but certainly not least, I am thankful for you and your continued patronage of my channel. So please, guys, like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you are getting more content like this. And may I remind you, there are links down below. One, for the Overnight Millionaire Program, because you know I'm always talking about how I started on this journey with Wesley Virgin and that Overnight Millionaire program was the, I guess, the jumping off point for me trying new things. Ah, try to work that in there, right? And um, I have down there as well the MSI program by Bob Proctor, which um, they show you how to or give you some 
information on how to uh, generate multiple streams of income. There are some entrepreneurs and very, very positive, motivating people in that group. Um, and the, of course, the link to the book is down there. And my network marketing company that, oh my God, there's so many wonderful things about this company. It's just hard to even uh, verbalize. It, they are into the personal development. They help you with your, your health by your exercise program. They do inspiration every day. They feed hungry children just by passing out free technology. I mean, how wonderful can that be? So there's a link down there below of a video that you can watch just to take a look at it. Also, just be diligent in trying something new. All right, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. But in the meantime, I wish you peace. I wish you love. And I love you guys so much. Thanks again for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.